sold out Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix, Arizona. The United States Olympic team against the NBA All-Stars. And today he's going with the North Carolina duo of Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins at forward. Patrick Ewing will start at center. Vern Fleming and Alvin Robertson will begin the game at guard. For the NBA All-Stars, Walter Davis and Alex English are the forwards. Larry Nance is the center, although normally he's a forward, and Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas are the guards. And Dick, maybe the most surprising thing would be Vern Fleming. If you look back over the course of the last year's collegiate basketball season, it wouldn't surprise you to see at least three of these and maybe four in a starting lineup for the Olympics. But Fleming has really come on and shown versatility that a lot of people didn't know he had. He led the SEC in scoring this year. He has been outstanding, and the NBA All-Stars win the tip in Walter Davis. 6-2, to two, the NBA Stars lead. The NBA now has given the outside shot to the Olympic team, pressing things way back inside defensively. Michael Jordan is fouled. And, of course, in international rules, you have free to make two when you are fouled in the act of shooting. One of the things that uh, the professional players have said that they really feel that Michael is the best athlete that they've gone up against on the Olympic team. A sure shot to be quite a player as a uh, professional. Isaiah Thomas committed the foul, and Michael Jordan, who is really the interchangeable part, can play anywhere on this team. Great. Michael can play either of the guard positions the way Bobby works out since he doesn't have a true point guard, and he also plays the small forward position very well. So Michael Jordan, unanimous first team All-America. Again, the NBA players giving up the jump shot. Michael Jordan wisely sees it. Takes. Now Michael Jordan, uh, that hasn't been his style to immediately take the shot, has it? Now Michael looks to put the ball inside, but he's starting to recognize the defense as well. Another good pass, but again, Ewing a back that the United States team is sure to see. Alex English into the ball game, as you saw. Aguirre, triple team, throws the ball away into the hands of Fleming. Here's a break. Jordan, back at Magic Johnson, and there you saw Michael Jordan's tremendous skills as he went past Magic Johnson for the stop shot to give the USA a 32-31 lead. Here goes the play now. Michael Jordan didn't have a clear path to the basket here. Magic Johnson had a pretty good angle on him, and look, at he takes off and just keeps right hot going. Magic moves to the side. And he was the top scorer for the U.S. when they won the gold medal at the Pan Am Games last year. You can see the NBA now playing with Walter Davis on Jordan. Went to a little box and won, and Jordan still was able to go ahead and get the shot off. Right, but in Bobby Knight's concept, particularly man-to-man, -man, Robertson and Jordan do an awful lot of rebounding, particularly on the offensive end. Leon Wood passes up the shot. Well, some move by Michael Jordan. And he's fouled by Alex English, and there's nothing Alex English could do because Michael Jordan is so quick, and he's, you can see the muscles, too, so he's got that combination you like. In my opinion, Michael Jordan has the opportunity to become one of the all-time great basketball players in the history of the game. I'm, I'm talking about in the class of the Weston Roberts, a Hall of Fame type player. He possesses so many skills physically, and he has all the skills as a basketball player in regards to shooting, ball handling, movement with him without the ball. At 6'6", what do you think will be his best position? Well, he really provides a, a great luxury for the Chicago Bulls in this respect because he can play the small forward. He can also play the second guard, and uh, there are not many guys that can do that uh, with equal ability. So there is just no limit to what Michael can do. As a matter of fact, he was uh, player of the year in college basketball, but every, that everybody knows I think he may be an even better pro. Pretty good testimonial. Leon Wood, who averaged 24 points a game this year. And as a junior, led the nation in assists. There's Michael going by Larry Nance. And Nance. One of the things interesting about this, actually, Michael Jordan had the jump shot. He changed off the pass, and there have been some talk about the fact, and I thought it was very well written, where it said it took the Atlantic Coast Conference referees a year to get used to Michael Jordan's first step. How long is it going to take the referees at the Olympics? But uh, he just does have that phenomenal move without, with and without the ball. He gets another chance, three to make two. Don't forget it was Jordan who hit the jump shot with seconds remaining to give North Carolina their NCAA championship over Georgetown in 82. Now the only weakness for Michael, I think, is that he has that tongue out so much. I've always been worried about somebody coming up with an elbow and just knocking it right off. In, in international play on the 30-second clock, it goes back to 30. International rules will change after the Olympics, and at that point, it'll be more like the NBA. And Perkins is fouled inside, but terrific inside passing. Jordan and Perkins combining once again the Tar Heel duo. Nice job on the inside. 
Here you see the pass. Michael makes that quick move on the baseline, goes by, finds Sam Perkins, who takes it right to the hoop and gets fouled. He and Elijah Juan are two of the best I've ever seen at going from offense to defense. It's just instinctive for both of them. Of course, Elijah Juan not being the Olympics for any team. Michael Jordan hits from the corner. So Michael Jordan, the leading scorer in the ballgame with 16 points right now, and USA has their biggest lead of the game, five right now. We got a couple guys out here. We'll have a chance to get in that select company because Jordan and Perkins have both been on an NCAA champion. And Ewing. Well, Isaiah has that infectious smile. You mentioned Cooper uh, yesterday. Uh, Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas were having a three-point uh, play competition to see who could shoot the best. And every time Magic hit one, he said that was a, a Cooper shot. So as you said, Cooper really developed that long outside bomb. 14-14 to go. Here's Leon Wood going in, facing the big Larry Nance. It smartly goes back to Jordan. Nice pass. Jordan. And Nance blocks Vern Fleming from the floor. Now you got used to this. That's a great pass by Jordan and a super block by Larry Nance. And when they took it the rest of the way. Good screen for Michael Jordan. Got a double inside. inside. Jordan. Stuck through. Perkins. And Perkins has 14 points and an impressive move. Leon Wood on a turnover. Beating Jordan for two more. The USA is up 67 to 61, the biggest lead of the ball game. Big play right there, and Isaiah threw it inbounds, and nobody to catch it. Really caught the NBA stars in trouble. 67 61, the USA hit the ball. Michael Jordan, oh, oh, what a pass inside. Michael's putting on a show. He will sell some tickets. 34 of the 67 points by Jordan and Perkins, more than half. And there they go, teaming up again for Jordan to Perkins, and this is a North Carolina show. 16 on the shot clock. Jordan. Inside Ewing. Ewing shooting over Nance. Stuck in on the weak side. Michael Jordan is putting on a show today, and I know that Bobby Knight likes the team concept and not the star concept, but we're looking at a star. 22 for Jordan. A week from tomorrow, it all starts against China. USA goes for the gold in Los Angeles. Look for a back cut here. That means somebody coming from the blind side to pick off an NBA player and get the pass inside. That's why there's nobody playing the low post. With five seconds on the shot clock, Michael Jordan is, has to take the shot. Oh, look at those screens that they set in there. This team is so well drilled. Jordan goes oh! play baseline. He locked it at high against any and all comers. And Michael Jordan with 26 points and a dazzling display of all-round basketball skill. Magic misses outside. Perkins the rebound. Textbook basketball. Everyone moving without the ball. You don't see anyone standing up. There's a back door by Leon Wood. Tough overplay at the end. They got it down to nine seconds, and Jordan goes again. And let's watch that last play by Michael Jordan. Spectacular. Well, I mentioned that I, I think he can be one of the greatest players in the history of the game, and here's where he shows he can take it to the hoop and create shots. I mean, he's got the outside jumper. He can rebound offensively and defensively. Super defensive player. He can make the pass off the dribble. His jump shot has been suspect, but it's got great form. So there's just nothing he can't do, plus he's got the great heart and mind to go with the game. Billy, today he was switched from guard to forward for the first time in these games. The significance of that. Well, Bobby does make a good point there, and, you know, he, he gets on my case some, but he said, hey, you explain to me what a guard is and what a forward is. Michael Jordan is a basketball right. player, you know, and so I really don't, I'd have to agree with Bob on that one. There, there is no significance where you put him on the court. He just is so versatile. And we'll be back to the Arizona Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix in just one moment. <laughs> 